Hello, 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 everyone. I hope you guys are doing amazing and are enjoying your month so far. Despite all of the craziness that is going on in the world, we will push through this. <laughs> My name is Chris. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And today, in today's video, I am going to be showing you how I achieved this half face distressed skull look that I did for Halloween. So I'm starting off with what I think is the easiest part and that's just normally doing my makeup on one side of my face, eyebrows, eyeshadow. Now if you can tell <laughs> this video, what's going on in this video, it it goes against the pictures that I'm going to be posting because when I originally did this look, I did not record it. So this is my second go at it. So a lot of things are going to be different and I may not even get it spot on because it's late. I am tired and this like I had no intentions of even recording this but I just said hey why not so things may not be the same like how they are in the pictures and in the post but I basically just wanted to show how I even got the first look in the first place like even if it's not exactly spot on things are still similar enough and as I'm going through this video, I'm going to be sharing what I forgot to do and what I should have done and things like that. So close enough. So I already did most of my makeup. The only thing that's left is foundation. But I'm going to take my white eyeshadow primer. You can do use any color pencil, anything. You just need a guide to let you know where you're going to put your glue and where you're going to glue down your tissue. Yes, I use a half of a ply if that's what it is <laughs> of tissue and I'm just going to glue that down on my face and that's going to give the illusion that my skin is lifting up my skin is peeling yeah so just lay down your glue following the guide that you made it really doesn't matter and lay your tissue over the glue and what i like about this is you can see that the tissue is you know kind of wrinkling up so it's already looking like okay well you know when you were a kid and you put glue in your hand you let it dry and made it, people think that your skin was peeling yeah this is exactly that and i'm just using some more glue and going back over the tissue for security and to really get it to wrinkle up and look like skin so I'm cutting off the excess tissue and you actually want to cut off more than this. But I'm going to go in a little later and cut off a bit more. You don't need all of this at all. You just need a little section to lift up. So now I'm going to start working on the other side of my face. I'm using a black eyebrow pen a black pencil to do my eyebrows on this side. On this side it's just going to be black and white, dull dead obviously who were doing a skull right so i'm using my white eyeshadow primer and i'm going to conceal my brows and take some more of that and put that all over my skin now if you're dark like me it doesn't matter if the primer doesn't completely cover your skin my intentions wasn't to have like a perfect white color you know just once most of my skin is covered, that's fine. Because once we start packing on the black eyeshadow all over the place, you won't even notice that. So on the next side of my face, I'm going to put on foundation. And when you're blending, you want to make sure that you're getting some of your color foundation, whatever color you use. You're going to make sure that you get some of your foundation on the tissue. Because like I said, this is skin. This is your skin lifting up. So we want it to be the same color as your foundation. Now, this is completely optional. If you don't have a translucent, translucent setting powder, then don't worry about it. It really doesn't matter. But I use my translucent setting powder and I set the white eyeshadow primer and I just took a little on the next side to set underneath my eyes as well. 
So now it's time to make the bruises. So how did I go about doing this? Basically, I took some black eyeshadow and I focused that like in the center of the tissue. So like the line that connects my foundation to the white tissue. I just did a straight line. Well, not straight, but followed that guide and packed on some black eyeshadow. And then when I'm finished with the black, that's when we're going to go on top and on both sides of the black line. And we're going with this burgundy shade. And that is really going to make the bruise look a lot more realistic. So it's going to take a while to cover up all of the white tissue. But just keep packing on and alternating between the black and the burgundy. Until you feel like, okay, this looks realistic enough. Like I said, I was tired. So I didn't put as much effort as I did the first time I did this look. But this is basically what I did. Just take your time and keep working, keep blending, keep packing it on until you're satisfied. Here I'm taking some more of my foundation and we're going to cover the opposite side of that black line. So just packing that on, covering up all of the white tissue. And then I just decided that I really don't need all this tissue. And it was getting kind of hard to cover. I just really wanted to go back to bed. So I cut off a bit more of that tissue. And then I'm going back in to fill out the rest of the tissue with some more of my foundation. So now we need to make the bruises visible on the next side of the face. So I'm taking some more of that black eyeshadow. And I'm just following this guide of where the tissue stops going on top of the tissue underneath the tissue lifting up the tissue a bit and going underneath it with the black and then i'm going to do the same thing with the burgundy until i feel you know like okay it's coming together as you can see it is looking kind of realistic if i had taken a little more time to really blend then this would have been you know really close to the first time when i did it and this is me just showing you that the hard part is basically over at this point because from here on out you're literally only using two eyeshadows a brush like one or two brushes max and a black liquid eyeliner and that is literally it so i kind of jumped the gun here you actually want to like what i'm showing you now take a fluffy brush and either a light or a dark brown shade and you are just going to outline basically where all of the hollow places in your skull are going to be and this is a technique that I learned from another YouTuber. I can link her video down in the description box because she explains this so much better than I ever could, obviously, because it was her look. But that's what you want to do in the brown. Kind of gives like this dusty feel. And as she described it, because she, she described it so beautifully, as if you just crawled out of your grave, you know, just covered in the dust or whatever. So seeing the brown... And the back of the black eyeshadow just makes this whole look come together. And like I said, you're going to use two brushes if you need to. I had a fluffy brush close by because you want to blend out the black harsh lines, the harsh circles and everything. You want to blend it out and give your face, your skull that smoky look. It's not cute when you have the harsh lines all over the place and as you can will see later on i barely did any blending and there were a lot of harsh lines that i ended up having but like i said this is my second time doing it and it was late so 
excuse me <laughs> but yes you want to make sure that you are blending the most important part of this look is the blending So I'm just speeding it up a little bit because literally all I'm doing at this point is just outlining where the cracks and everything would be in a typical skull. So on my nose, under my chin, my lips, all of that. And then later on, you're going to come back in and add some more eyeshadow or whatever, a gel liner or whatever you have to darken up. The areas I only used eyeshadow that was good enough for me. And right now I'm working on the jawline, just trying to blend it out a bit. And like I said on my chin, my chin sh my shouldn't have been that dark. It's not that dark in the original pictures. But now you know when you're doing this, please blend and try not to make your lines too harsh. So now the teeth. The teeth are very easy. You start off with a straight line in the center and then every other line is basically like curving in towards the center. It makes the teeth a lot more realistic than just drawing straight lines all over the place. Well, in my opinion. And your teeth really don't, the lines don't really don't have to be perfect because you're going to go back in and cover that, well not cover it, but you'll see what we do later. And what we do later is basically going to cover up any mistakes that you make. So your lines don't have to be straight at all. And I extended my lips a little bit and I'm just going to draw a few more teeth on the lines that I extended. I'm going to take the same liquid eyeliner and add some details to my nose and then a little frown line underneath my eyes because the purpose of this skull is for you to look kind of like mean mug or whatever so you do need some frown lines here and there wherever you can put them. Now this part, this is what I was talking about. This part is really going to bring out the teeth that you just drew and it's going to cover basically any mistakes that you made. So you're going to take either a white eyeshadow or in this case I'm using my white eyeshadow primer because it just was easier. I don't have to wet my brush and try my best to get the eyeshadow to pop no the primer just automatically does that so i'm just using this and a relatively small brush and i'm packing that in the center of each of my lines and as you can see they're just bringing out the teeth and making them a bit more defined And another trick that I picked up from the original creator of this skull look was that she used a bit of brown eyeshadow. So the same brown eyeshadow that you use to outline where you want the hollows in your face to go, you're going to use that and just drag it along the black lines that you use to create your teeth. So that's literally all I'm doing and this kind of helps to bring out the teeth a little more as well.
So now we are wrapping up this look and right now I'm just taking some more of a brown eyeshadow and I'm just going around and defining some areas, lifting up my cheekbone and this is another area that I guess I made it a little too harsh that I shouldn't have. That black eyeshadow did not need to go down just now. The brown was fine. But now you know if you attempt to do this, and I hope you do, keep your lines on your cheek and on your chin. It does not need to be as harsh as I did it just now. It really does not. And that is the look. Let me know if I got it close enough to the original. So this is the original hair. Let me know how I did. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.